Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. There has been global controversy over Amain Khalif, a biologically male athlete who competed in women's boxing against opponent Angela Carini at the Olympics this week. But the issue of athletes competing in sports that do not align with their biological sex is not new, and has been a hot-button issue for years in the U.S. Since 2020, half of American states have implemented various bans to block transgender youth from competing in women's school sports. Almost all of these are Republican-led, highlighting the politically fraught nature of the issue. Khalif, who was born a woman but tested positive for XY chromosomes, typically seen in a man, defeated Karini in just 46 seconds in the match, with her opponent bowing out saying she feared for her safety. There has since been backlash online, with many figures, including Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling, suggesting Khalif shouldn't have been allowed to compete in the women's category. Before the match, high school volleyball player Peyton McNabb, who was partially paralyzed after a transgender player hit her with a ball, said it was disgusting that Khalif was being allowed to compete. Since her injury, the North Carolina native has been instrumental in implementing a ban in her state on biological men competing in women's sports. She has urged other states to follow, arguing that allowing trans women in female sports could be dangerous and deprive biological women of the chance to play. Multiple reviews have suggested biological males retain an advantage over their fellow female athletes, even years after starting their transition and taking hormones to lower testosterone. It is this evidence that multiple states have used while proposing bans on transgender athletes in women's sports. The bans mean that transgender kids are blocked from playing on teams that match their gender identity, but not their biological sex. Transgender youth account for about 1% of 12 to 17-year-olds in schools. Of the states bringing in bans, 11 say a child's sex will be defined by that listed on their birth certificate. Oklahoma requires an affidavit or written statement that is sworn to be true on a child's sex on their birth certificate, while other states give details of a biological man in their bans. A map made by Think Tank Movement Advancement Project, which advocates for trans rights in states, reveals the 25 states that have brought in bans are concentrated in the southeastern and western U.S., and are nearly all Republican-led. They include the Dakotas, Texas, Iowa, Missouri, Utah, Montana, Florida, Kentucky, Alabama, and Louisiana, among others. The Movement Advancement Project calls the policies blanket bans on transgender people's participation in sports, and these bans are both unnecessary and harmful. It is also in these states that lawmakers have or are attempting to limit options available to people identifying as trans, including restricting hormone therapy, puberty blockers, and bathroom access. States that do allow trans youth to participate in sports that align with their gender identity include California, Colorado, New Mexico, New York, Georgia, Minnesota, and Illinois, among others. Unlike their counterparts, these states mostly have protections in place for people identifying as trans, including bathroom choice, workplace and school protections and access to hormone replacement therapy and puberty blockers. Trans athletes have also been a hot topic among college sports as well. In a lawsuit filed by female student athletes, the National Collegiate Athletics Association, NCAA, is accused of violating Title IX, a federal law that prohibits sex-based discrimination in educational institutes. The law requires schools to provide equal opportunities for girls and boys in athletic programs. The athletes allege the NCAA violated Title IX by allowing a transgender female athlete, Leah Thomas, to compete at national championships in 2022. Caitlin Wheeler, a former University of Kentucky swimmer who is part of the suit, told ABC News, the NCAA's most basic job is to protect the fairness and the safety of its athletes, and it has failed on that simple task. 